Hi, my name is Mitchell, and we are embarking upon an art journey today. So the question becomes, where do we start? And I think to answer that, we need to take a little field trip. Let's go. Well, hello. Welcome to the one and only requirement for this project, and that is that it lives here, above the piano. What I want to do is try to figure out what size panel or canvas would work best here. Yeah, I could take this measuring tape and measure things out and in my mind's eye visualize what size could work best here, but I think there's a better way. And all I need is a single reference measurement. I'm going to measure this music stand on the piano. Thirty and a half inches. Well, that's all we need. I'll see you back at the studio. All right, made it back to the studio. But before I left, I took a still of the wall. This is important because this still mixed with the measurement that we took, that allows us to create a ratio between pixels of this particular image and inches in real life. So we can start sizing panels within this image. These two panels right here was my hope. I really, really wanted to do a two panel picture. But honestly, now looking at it, it's just, it's not my favorite. And that's okay, that's okay. I'm glad that we were able to figure that out at this step instead of way later. We needed something. So I chose a single centered painting right above the piano that ended up being four foot wide by two foot tall. This is the winner. This is what we're gonna go with. And this is great because it unlocks the next piece thumbnails. In total, I made eight pencil sketches. I have them numbered here because I would like you to choose your favorite. You can see from these first four and as we transition into the second half that I had a very strong concept from the outset. This swirling vortex captivated me and even on the last few, you can see me coalescing on a particular design that I found very pleasing. I did not pick number eight though. Which one did you pick? I decided to move forward to the next step with number six. The next step being where we will be adding color. But we can't just dive into color just like that. We have requirements for this project and the wall dictates all. You can see that the color of the wall, this bluish gray, and also the plants create a cool tone. This is contrasted by the wood, uh, the variety of wood tones in this room. So there is a good balance here within warmth and cool. And really what I'm going for is a piece that can sit back into this room and fit inside of it. This first combination, I like as a color combination, but in this particular room, I do not like. It's a little bit loud. I feel like it would sit too starkly against this room. This next combination though, you can see that these four colors boil down to two primaries, a green and a red. This is great. They are complementary colors, opposites on the color wheel. Well, this is a totally known quantity in the art field. These colors used in the right amounts can create a cohesion and balance within a piece. It can also create a vibrancy between colors, especially if, in this case, red backs right up into the green. So I want to try to leverage this particular combination to create the final piece. But this unlocks the next step, which is painted thumbnails. Here is my palette. I will be using acrylic paint for this one, and although I will be using oils in the final, really what I'm trying to focus on here is 
marrying the color combination to the size of panel and to the concept and style that I want. Let's go. I hope you'll join me in part two, where we will be building and preparing the canvas as well as diving into the first few layers of paint. This painting's concept was inspired by a series of paintings done by a master painter. If you are the first to comment one of these paintings as well as the artist, I will pin your comment. I appreciate your support. Every like, share, subscription, and comment helps small creators like myself. That's it. I hope you'll join me for the next one. Until next time.